Hello, I'm Georgi Kostadinov. I'm from Bulgaria. I play for Apoel FC and I play as a midfield. Okay, you're born in, in Charevo. It's a seaside, uh, small city. What is the population over there? Yes, it's a seaside city, very beautiful city. It's uh, around 8,000 people population. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, famous with the nice beaches, mm -hmm. and uh, we are also next to the mountain. So if you want, if you like mountain, you can go to relax in the mountain to take a breath. And if you want to be in the beach, also we have very nice beaches and you can enjoy the nice weather in Bulgaria. So, as a kid coming from Charevo, probably you should be a swimmer or a skier. Why you are a football player then? Oof, look, it was my hobby to be a swimmer. I like a lot to swim. So that's why I come to Cyprus. <laughs> <laughs> and how comes uh, football? Uh, from which age you started to play football? From early age, I love to play football. And I don't know, it was my big, biggest love. So I started to train, I don't know, I was maybe six, seven years old. And in an academy or in, in, in the neighborhood? In the, no, in the neighborhood since I started to walk maybe, I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't remember, I always play with the ball. And in the academy, in the academy since I was seven years old. In, yes. in a local academy? Yes, in the local academy, after I moved to Burgas to the Academy of Neftochimic. It was the best one in Bulgaria at that time. Mm -hmm. We won to championship. Wait over there, because I have a, I have ah, a question okay. on that. Okay. Uh, from what I, uh, I tried to search, the first big achievement of Georgi Kostantinov was scoring in a final of a championship against Seseka Sofia on yes. the age of 19. We are correct. Yes, I think yes, it was final of the championship. I scored on the semi-final also and on the final and we won 1-0 it was very nice emotion like always when we win a championship and since uh, then i started to play professional football on which team i started in left mm -hmm. in second league after uh, one year i moved to chernomorets pomorie it was a team full of young players one of the best players in bulgaria mm -hmm. with this team we won promotion and also play final for the cup uh, until you get professional, you always played in the same position as midfielder or you try some other position? Yes, too? I always play as a midfield, uh, but I was more attacking midfielder. I was playing box to box, I was scoring a lot of goals. Mm -hmm. But after in the professionals, uh, the coaches, they always prefer to put uh, uh, more attention to the, to the defense. So they want me to defend mm -hmm. uh, most of the time because I'm also very good in taking the ball. Okay, on 2012, as I understand, after two good years with uh, Bomori, as we said, with young players, you go to the rising uh, team of Ludogores because it was actually a new team at that time, right? Yes. Getting the first championship and then you go over there. Yes, yes. Uh, I went to Ludogores uh, when they went to first league, but already they have a great team, great organization. You can see that uh, the ambitions are very big mm -hmm. and I'm happy that I was part of this team at that moment because I met a lot of experienced good players and um, I became a better football player. And of course you have the first contact with the mentality of a professional championship title as I understand. You won two championship titles, one cup and one super cup over yes, there, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. We won the first year everything possible. The second year we become champions again and uh, when you're in such a team you start to learn and to have the mentality of a winner because every game you have to play for a win, every game you have to give 100% like in a play. It was at the age of 23, 24 over there Yes, yes. in Ludo Yes. And uh, as I understand because of the demands of the team uh, you, didn't, you, you didn't have a lot of 
gaining time. So that's the reason that you decide to go to another team at that time. Yes, exactly. Year. Exactly. I was uh, sure that I have to play more and I had a lot of options. I chose the best one for me. I went to one of the middle teams mm -hmm. uh, where we make a great season. We take the second position in the championship. Uh, we won against all the big teams and we played very good football. And this was a very good step for a player like uh, me at this time because I get a lot of confidence when you play every game and uh, when you are winning, you get a lot of confidence and uh, you have also the right mentality of, of mm -hmm. a winner. You're talking about Beroe, if I pronounce yes. it right, and then you go to one of the traditional teams, the well-known teams of Bulgaria, that is uh, Levski Sofia. Yes, yes, this is the biggest or one of the biggest teams in Bulgaria with great fans. Mm -hmm. uh, the atmosphere at the stadium is amazing. Uh, this is... It was not the same at Ludogorets, we have to say that. Yeah, you, you have a difference in uh, Ludogorets. It's more, more like a private uh, project, mm -hmm. like here Aris. We have uh, in Cyprus now Aris, who mm -hmm. is more like private project. Without a uh, farm Yes, base. without a lot of uh, fans. But while uh, Levski is like up well, full of fans, uh, you have this uh, pressure in every training, in every game, which is, I think, is very nice. You like pressure? A lot. You, want you to... live with the pressure, otherwise you're not, you're not alive. <laughs> so, you have more than 150 games in the Bulgarian Championship at that time, and you decide to leave. It was, uh, can you give us some reasons of uh, your decision, try something new, what was the... At this moment I was playing for national team, I started to play, play very good, we won against Netherlands, we won against Netherlands 2-0 uh, at home against players like Robben, like Schneider, De Ligt. I had a lot of options, but honestly I wanted to stay in Levski, but at this moment I have a big problem with uh, some of the... Um, people, some of the directors of the team, so I decided to leave because of them and I went to the, one of the best teams in Israel, Maccabi Haifa. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a clear decision to close actually the chapter of the Bulgarian yes. football at that time? Yes, yes, a clear decision and for me it was difficult because when you play for a team that you want to play, that you love, it's very difficult to leave. But for me, as a person, it's very important to uh, have a good uh, relation with everyone in the team. Mm -hmm. I have big respect from the fans, big respect from the players, but I didn't uh, feel the same respect from one uh, of the directors, that's why, that's why I left. And you perform well, as I understand, getting the conclusion that you have a transfer yes. from that team to go to the Russian uh, Championship afterwards. Yes, I had three options. Uh, but at that moment, uh, in the same team in Russia, there was one Bulgarian guy who told me a lot of positive things mm -hmm. about the project of Arsenal Tour. So I decided to make the next step exactly there uh, because the championship is very strong and I think that the characteristics of the Russian championship are very proper to me mm -hmm. because uh, I'm physically very good, very ready and the championship is like that. You spent four years, four good years over there. How was the championship? It was what you expected to find? Yes, yes, it was a very nice experience. Uh, first of all, I went exactly after the World uh, Championship uh, in Russia. Mm -hmm. All the stadiums were brand new, great stadiums. Uh, most of the games you play in front of more than 30,000, 40,000 uh, fans. It was uh, amazing. We had very nice first three years where we make big results and we play very nice football. Uh, in the life of a player, there are some uh, moments which are not connected with the, with the football. For example, at this moment I expect a child. And for my wife, uh, for my family, it was better to be close to Bulgaria, mm -hmm. uh, in a country with a better climate. Mm -hmm. So the Cyprus was the best uh, place for living. Mm -hmm. And when I get uh, the offer from Apple, I didn't uh, think a second and I agreed to come. Here. What you knew about Apoel from before? Actually, I knew a lot because Milanov, Jivko Milanov was playing uh, here, is my friend and he told me a lot of uh, 
positive information about the team. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew that the team playing the quarterfinal for uh, League of Champions mm -hmm. have amazing results, amazing team, and I know that the team have very good uh, fans, mm -hmm. the best in uh, Cyprus, and also great base. So for me, this was enough. And we have a lot of Bulgarian people over here too. It's, it's easy to adjust, as I understand, from the mentality of the people. Yes, there are a lot of Bulgarians here. Uh, I met a lot of them every day on the street. And uh, it's very easy for a Bulgarian to live in Cyprus. Okay, what do you expect and what you found here in Arkhangelsk? Uh, what I expect is a team full of ambition a team which want uh, to be back at the top mm -hmm. and this is exactly what I found here. I found a very good team, I think with very very good players uh, and uh, I believe and I am sure that we have all the quality to take the championship. All the games now are difficult and unfortunately we, we lost our lead. Uh, regarding the regular season and now we are looking after seven games for our first win. It's not something normal. <laughs> what is your opinion about this fact? I think, yes, this is not normal. Uh, it's very difficult for us as a team to accept this situation and we work a lot every day to change it because uh, in the playoffs I think that in most of the games we deserve a much better result. As you see, every game we have a uh, minimum 300% chances. At the moment we cannot score them, but I believe that in the right moment they are going to become goals and that this will make the difference. Because this season the details will make the difference in the championship. Now we have three more games uh, until the end of the championship, starting on Sunday uh, against Tyke. You believe that we can make it? Of course I believe. I'm sure that we can make it. If I didn't believe, I was not going to be here. Mm -hmm. I want you, as Georgi, to give a message to our fans. I want to say thank you. Thank you for the support. Because you cannot see very often, from my experience, to see fans to support you in every stadium and in every stadium to feel like home. This is great. I want to say not only from me, but from all the team, thank you to them for their support. And I promise that we are going to give 120% from ourselves to get the title.